Hey guys, it's me, it's Cranky Yankee here, and just wanted to make a little video about, everyone's making a video about this right now, but I just want to throw in my two cents. You guys know whenever there's some kind of news story or something that happens in hockey that I like to put in my two cents, and generally when I do them, they're not really related to the sport themselves, but usually about the things outside the ice or off the ice. Um, I want to talk about the Akeem Aliou situation, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Bill Peters saying some very derogatory um, racial slurs in his presence. Um, he had made comments about the music that Akeem was playing and, and how he didn't like it to be much more PC than what was actually said. But I don't think I need to tell you guys what was said. You guys can find it. Go look on it online or look on Twitter. It's all there. You can see all everything word for word exactly what was allegedly said. Um, and to be just a funny little side note, I got banned for a week from Twitter because of this whole situation. Because, and here's the thing. I'm going to swear there will be a curse word in this sentence because there was one in my tweet. And the funny thing about it is I don't think my curse word was what actually got me banned. With what Bill Peters said, I had basically commented on Frank Saravelli's post, who was um, um, works for, I think, TSN, and I had commented on his post, and I had simply said that if I had been in that locker room when those things were said, I literally would have punched him in the face. I would have got up and punched Peter, uh, Bill Peters right in the face. And my last quote was, and I'm white as fuck. I am. You guys look at me. I got a ginger beard. I'm as white as snow. And it's whipped cream, whatever you want to say. I'm as white as white can be. That being said, using the N-word either at, like, towards or even in the presence of a person of color. Actually, here's, no, I'm going to change this. Using the N-word in any context in any way is wrong. Nobody should be using that word, regardless of the color of your skin. That is not an appropriate word. And it was very simple. Bill Peters could have simply said, I don't like that music you're playing, change it. I don't want that music in my in my locker room. That's all he had to say. Would have conveyed the exact same, what he's conveyed, the, the message that he was trying to convey without using racial slurs. You don't need to talk about that. Akeem was playing hip hop music. Akeem is from Nigeria. He is a black gentleman. So I don't think I need to tell you what he was saying. But he was expressing some very racist and also homophobic content, com comments as well. Because there was a particular comment about sodomy in what he allegedly said to Akeem as well. Um, this is no place in civilized society. There's no place in hockey, has no place in any other sport, has no place in this country, in this world. We are a highly educated, highly civilized society. There's no place for this language in our, in, in our repertoire anymore. Racial slurs are not okay in any context, period. And I agree with even people of color using it to talk to each other. Now they claim, oh, we're gonna take, we're taking it back, blah, blah, blah. I would argue that that is creating a bigger problem. Because I'm a big believer in maximum personal, maximum freedom and mass, maximum personal responsibility. Either everyone can use the word or no one can use the word. It's only fair, period. If a certain group of people cannot use the word, but another group of people can, that's wrong. No one should be able to use it. Either we all use it or no one does. Plain and simple. I hope Bill Peters gets fired over this. And yes, I understand that it's 10 years ago. But like I said, maximum personal responsibility. And if he comes out now and apologizes, it's not sincere. I don't want apology. I want punishment. I want retribution. I want this man to be held accountable. And have him, him making him go on and uh, go public and say, I said these things, I regret them, I'm sorry. That's great and all. It's great if you regret it. It's great if you did it. It doesn't change the fact that you said it. And if you say it, there's other people who are going to hear that and think that it's okay to say it too. I don't think he needs to be in the NHL anymore. I don't think he should be a coach. I don't think he should be a coach at any level. And I feel the same way about Babcock. Now, not to mention... Peters learned a lot when he did from Babcock. Now, I'm not saying Babcock is a racist. There's nothing to say that he is. We do know that he's, from what most people have said, he's pretty much a scumbag. Not a very good person by any way, shape, or form. And after what he did with Marner, I'm very confused about how he's even had a job this long. And the same thing with, Pe with Peters. Now, Akeem said that he waited this long to come out because at the time he was 20. He was just trying to be a pro. He was a young guy coming up being a pro, being a man of color, 
in a sport like that and and I mean in in baseball and basketball and football it's not as big of an issue they've had their growing pains through this and they've kind of worked through it I feel like at least as this goes it's a little bit less of an of an issue I'm not saying it's not a problem in those other sports I don't know I don't follow them enough to know whether it still is I'd like to think that they probably have worked it out a little better and that that kind of thing is not as common considering most of those sports are very dominated by my minorities and hockey very much still isn't and I think with everything that the NHL promoting, hockey is for everyone, and I'm a big supporter in the hockey is for everyone, and a big supporter in, in, in making it accessible to people of all walks of life, regardless of your color of your skin, your religious beliefs, your sexual preference, your gender, your your um, economic stand, in whether you're poor or rich, it shouldn't just be for rich people, it should be for everyone who wants to play, they should be able to play. Um, but I don't know what you guys think about this. I mean, I got a one-week Twitter ban for saying that I would have punched Bill Peters in the face, and they said that I was threatening. I was like, I didn't threaten him. I was a promise. If I saw him today, I'd probably still do the same damn thing. And at the same time, I think myself, I'm the cranky Yankee. What part of this that makes you think that I'm a generally nice, friendly, oriented person? I'm not. That's why I'm the cranky Yankee. I complain. I swear. I curse. I call people out on their bullshit. That's what I do. That's who I am as a person. But at the same time, I'm very respectful of people until the point that they show me that they don't deserve that respect. And once you don't reserve that, deserve that respect, I'm not giving it to you. Um, but that's just my two cents on the whole situation. Akil, good on you, bud. I, st I stand with you. I support you. I, it's too bad that this happened and if you feel like it kind of ruined your career before it started and it may well have and if that is the case then shame on you bill peters shame on calgary Sh the the calgary shames that's what they should be called they are now the calgary shames because it's shameful that they would allow somebody to do this and i know for a fact that there was people that knew about this because brian bickle who was the captain of that team went in afterwards and said said to bill bill you can't do this that's not okay the captain of your team went in and told you this. And Brian Bickle is a white man. Not that it matters, but he wasn't even a part of that minority. And he's like, this is offensive to me. And I'm a white man. I'm offended by this. Because I don't think anybody should be treated that way. I don't want to be called a cracker or somebody to make... I mean, I've been called a Nazi before because my family is German. That offends me to no end because I hate Nazis. Funny thing is, I've studied them a lot extensively because I could I wanted to know how the hell could a group like that ever come in power that was so just hateful and negative and now it's weird that I say that because kind of my thing is kind of not necessarily being negative but I'm cranky but I I, I, I comment and curse and swear about things that I think are warranted I'm the biggest supporter of minorities I'm the biggest supporters of the LGBTQ community of all that stuff I'm a huge supporter of all of that and there's no place for stuff like that in professional sports. There's no place for language like that in civilized society. He's a barbarian and he should be crucified. Not literally, but he should be fired and he should never be allowed to have, have any kind of coaching job related to anything with the NHL. And that means that goes straight down in the ECHL because they almost all of them have affiliates with the NHL clubs. The AHL, he should have no job there. He should have no job in the ECHL, no job in the NHL. And I guarantee you that if he tried to get a job in my league down here, the SBHL, we'd run him out of the house so goddamn fast his head would spin. But that's it for me, guys. It's going to be a short video. I'm on break. I'm about to go back into work. But I just want to give my two cents and let you guys know that I have a Twitter ban, which kind of made me giggle because considering some of the stuff that I've said on Twitter, it's pretty actually tame and innocuous compared to what I generally post on Twitter. And those of you that follow me on Twitter know that some of the shit that I say is pretty con controversial. And I just think it's funny that that is one of the comments that got me banned. But I've, it's, it's my second ban. I've been banned before. It, it's no big deal. Whatever. I'll be back in a week. It ain't no big deal. But anyways, that's it for me, guys. I'm the Cranky. I mean, let me go in the comment section below if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me. Um, I know this is somewhat hockey-related, but more philosophical and society-related because this stuff irks me to no end. People who are hateful like this, people who just, it makes me want to strangle them. And I'm not a violent man by any means. You can ask my wife. I have not, got, I have not fought anyone since I was a teenager. Doesn't mean I won't. I'm not a person to start fights, but I am a person that will end them. But that's it for me, guys. 
Just wanted to give my two cents, get this off my chest because it's been bugging me all day. I love you all. Let me know in the comment section below if you agree with me, disagree with me. What do you think should happen? Do you think Bill should be fired? Do you think that he should that, that he deserves to have a job in another organization? Or do you think that he should be completely out of the league all, uh, all like full stop? Um, but that's for me, guys. I'm the Crane Cake. We'll catch you guys in the next one.